it's going to be great because all six of them are going to be able to come in and play right away. So it's going to add to more competition for some spots in there, which you always want to push your returning players and uh, you want to push everybody every year. There's no guarantees that just because one of the freshmen last year had a great year and started for us that that spot's hers and they all understand that. And I think when you're in that environment that they know that, then that's when you've got something special. Well, you see me light up when you say the name Morgan Andrews. It's, uh, she's special. You know, we've been blessed over the 14 years here to, to really recruit some very special kids. You know, the, the, the Carrie Hanks, the Carrie Dews of the world, the Brittany Box, the, you know, I can go on down the list. We've had some, some great, great talent in here. And Morgan is no different. She's arguably been rated the top player in the country coming out. She's the captain of our youth national team that just played in the last U-17 World Cup. And, She's, she's a special player. I, I, she was ready to probably play at the collegiate level as a, as a freshman in high school. That's how good she is. And so we're really, really excited to have her. But, you know, in addition to Morgan, the rest of that class is very, very strong. And this has been one of our best recruiting classes that we've had. And, and you know, last year was outstanding with those 10 freshmen uh, to top that off and come back with uh, a repeat performance of a top class like we did this year. Um, puts a lot of pressure on me and, and the program to, to win more championships. Probably our most athletic goalkeeper since Lakeisha Bean, you know, that I had here in my first year. And uh, Kayla has just continued to progress. You know, she just recently got called in to two different national team camps. She's down uh, at, in California right now with the U-20 national team. And uh, she's hitting her, her stride right at the right time. And she's going to be something special here. You know, Cynthia Pineda is one of those kids that... Uh, we as a country need to tap into more. It's from the Hispanic community. Uh, she's one of those kids that never played for a high profile club, although she's playing for the Chicago Fire now and, and uh, she's playing for decent competition over in the, the Chicago area. But she's one of those kids that kind of is under the radar screen, uh, probably due to a lot of reasons that, that Hispanic communities not always tapped into what's going on in, uh, you know, nationally, but she plays with the Mexican national team. She played in Japan in the last World Cup, and she's got some real, real special qualities that I think the fans really don't like. Rilke, to me, is really, really on the national stage, underrated. I mean, she gets a lot of recognition around the country, but I think she's really a special player. She's one that has all the skills and the, and the, the, the tools to really shine in our program and she's so smart about wanting to possess the ball and keep the ball and that's something that's important to us because that's the way we want to play. She's going to be fantastic for us. Sandra is one that she's battled some injuries in the last year and, and that probably kept her off of the actual World Cup team, uh, the U-17 team that played in Japan, but she's been with that team prior to it and been with our U-15, so she's got a lot of history with our national team program. She's kind of the all-around package. She's, she's kind of an Elizabeth Tucker with a whole lot of skill added in it and a lot of international experience. And so she's going to be one that's going to come in right away and, and help us. Kaylee's one that uh, is out of Texas. You know, I've got to bring in some more Texas kids. Got to keep that pipeline going. Uh, but she plays for the Challenge Soccer Club. Kaylee's one that kind of uh, caught her eyes. growing physically and and uh, you know she had a period where she struggled a little bit and uh, I saw her a couple times over the last six months and she's kind of grown into that body now and uh, she came to summer camp last summer uh, she is really going to be a, a, a great addition to our front line she's playing really well right now oh!